Boom, we're detected. Have a good night, Alexer. Alex Nerd. Alex Nerd? Alex Nerd. Yes. So I think we're prepped and ready to go. So hello 171. Hello Runa. Hello Alexoid. And hello Franklin. Welcome in. Welcome in. I'm a little late today. <laughs> I won't lie. I was playing a game with a friend. It was really fun. And I just wanted to play a little longer. Anyways, we are back to the little Gator game today. And all I remember about last time is that we were trying to let people know that water is cool. Like that is literally all we did. We made a ton of friends and I get super distracted in this game because I was running around just about everywhere. I just checked the controls again because this game was like... It had a lot of very special stuff, right? I mean, look at this. Why would you need this in a game? I don't know, but we haven't. <laughs> Wait, how long? How long did it actually... That nearly got me like all the way to the top. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to try to get in the top of that. This is serious now. Serious business. Which one was it? I think it was... Uh, yeah, this one. There is... Oh, the monkey's up there! I need to get there! Oh, you don't understand. The monkey is super important. The monkey teaches us how to climb. Anyways, Garrett, hey, welcome! How you doing? Dim, 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 dim. Now you talk to the monkey. I don't remember any of the voices I gave them. So if they are different, I'm very sorry. Uh, it's been a while. Whoosh, do you hear it? There is a whisper on the wind. It shouts bracelets where you least expect. It is I, the bracelet shop. Would you like to buy one of my beauties? Only 500. Scrap, I'm guessing it's scrap. Uh, of course we are. Woohoo! 
Wonderful! Another beauty joins your collection! There you go. I got another bracelet! Wow! I'm so excited! Think of all the new things I could climb! For sooth, as the gentle breeze departs, so too must I! Goodbye! There goes the monkey. I didn't even know there was a monkey up there. I just wanted to get like all the way to the top. <laughs> you still can't get over how cute the new life that is. I'm still like getting used to it. Like when I look to the side, to me it's like, who is this? New phone? Who is this? But it's super cute. Oh, that's right. This memory happened before the windmill was built. So it's clipping into it. That's a shame. This is probably my favorite memory on the whole island. If only I could see the amazing visual wonder I so vividly recall just beyond the sheet of metal. Oh well. <laughs> I can't believe this. They actually, they actually did this, didn't they? I see. They just made it clip through. Okay, so last time we were supposed to like kind of follow these streams of water pipes. I think we followed the one that leads down there. I don't know if we followed this one. I'm going to follow this one next. It's just supposed to convince all of the friends that, you know, water is cool and they should be... They should be my friends for some reason, even though they're cool. And I'm not cool. I'm very much not cool. Let's see. Um, there seems to be a lot I actually did not destroy here and I'm surprised about that. Because I've been running around this game, literally destroying everything in sight. For a long, long time. Now, where does this pipe lead? Oh, oh this, this is where the pipe is. Okay. There's more memories up there, too. Mori, welcome in. Thank you for the sippy and thank you for the blue cap. How you doing? Hmm. Let me give you a quick shout out and then check for the... I should have like a normal shot for you, right? Yeah, I have like a special one. There we go. Okay. Let me check what the memory here is, if I haven't yet. Because I honestly, I don't remember how I ever did. Pipe seemed a lot taller back then. That That is your single memory, I see. You! You! Hey, have you met the cool kids? We have indeed met the cool kids by now. Oh yeah, I've met them. Whoa, and you even talked to them? Well, yeah. It wasn't that hard. Wow. Amazing. Please. I need your help. I want to be their friend, but I'm scared I'll make a bad first impression. So which of these poses do you think they like more? Pose one? Okay, okay. This is this is important, guys. We gotta judge this. Pose one? Pose two? Or pose three? Okay, pose three is not cool enough. Not cool enough. Which one? I'd say pose one. But let's see them again. You got pose one. Pose two. Pose two is like a little bit too much. Like just a little bit too much, I think. Pose three seems very odd. I'll go pose one. Also, hi self, how you doing? Yes, yes, you're right. You're so right. With this pose, I am unstoppable. I'll be best friends with the cool kids for sure. Thank you so much, traveler. I have no idea if we even made the right decision there. It's gonna be fine though, right? So thank you for the gifted sub to Lurking Hydra. Thank you so much. Literally coming in, gifting the sub, and then good night. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you were gonna do this. I swear. Okay. Are you just gonna be posing like this everywhere you go now, buddy? This pose is unstoppable. I, I didn't mean for you to like pose like this forever, you know? <laughs> oh no. This is bad. I don't know if that's gonna work out for him. Yeah, let's see where this pipe leads. All the way over there. You can see that I kind of cleared up the area nearly entirely. And then there's like one piece of scrap I haven't cleared for some reason. Oh, well, there we go. Right. Let's get to this body. What are you? Are you like a wolf? I can't really tell. Hello, Lucas. Hi. Don't mind me. Just thought I'd go for a casual stroll. A casual stroll to Remote Island? Oh, you're right. This is really out of the way. Haha. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Haha. 
<laughs> anyway, wouldn't it be great if you let me turn that pump back on? Nope, I'm not into it. My friends aren't into it. It's not happening. The airbow. Everyone's totally into it because, um... Dang, are they? Martin said he'd love it, but the others didn't say one way or the other. Did, did Martin really say that? Oh yeah, totally. Ugh, I, I can never tell what he's thinking. Was he joking when he said to turn the pumps off? Is he gonna think I'm a jerk for actually doing it? Whoa, whoa, slow down for a second. What's going on? I just can't stop acting weird around Martin. When I try to talk, I can feel all the words jumbling around my head. It's like how people act in movies and stuff, but those are just movies, right? No one really acts like that. Yeah, I think so. I've never felt like that either. But talking to Martin is easy. He always says what he's thinking. Oh my god, I can literally not talk. <laughs> what the day? He always says what he's thinking. Yeah, I know. He's so confident. How do you keep you cool so easily? Do you think maybe could you give me some advice? What kind of stuff do you say to him? Hmm. Advice you say? Also, hey, critical. I see you there. How you doing? Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Perhaps I could be persuaded to offer the advice you seek. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you help me out, the pump is all yours. Aha! Excellent. Wait right here. I have the perfect plan. Oh no. What is the plan? This feels awkward. Yeah, it is, it is very awkward. So are we gonna like have them talk to each other and one of them is a paper cutout? I was gonna say invasive. That's fine. A movie problem needs a movie solution. You be Martin, and I'll be you, and say all the things you're supposed to say. Okay, uh... Wow, it sure is a nice day to be me, Martin. I'm just relaxing here on this island, minding my own business. Let's see... What's a good opener? Your main is radiant. Wanna see a cool scab? Let's watch Power Fighters on DVD. Okay, we're not gonna go your main is radiant. That is, that is fucking weird, come on. We can do better. Let's watch Power Fighters on DVD. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Yo, Martin, let's watch Power Fighters on DVD. Seriously? Sure, why not? It's a good show. Okay. Let's assume that I didn't bring a DVD of a free decade old TV series to the park with me today. Oh no. Then what do I say? Well, then you had a loss. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help you, buddy. Then you had a loss immediately. <laughs> Like, how are you not carrying that on you at all times? Not very unlikely event. I could only suggest. I'm a down-to-earth country boy. Is that how you get friends nowadays? <laughs> Hello, future friend. I'm a down-to-earth country boy. <laughs> it doesn't sound alien at all. Do plants make the sun mad? Let's watch Power Fighters on DVD. <laughs> Oh my god, sorry. Yeah, we gotta say, we're definitely gonna say Power Fighters on DVD again, right? I mean, that's the only solution here. Obviously. You should really try to watch Power Fighters on DVD. Bob, I don't think I own a DVD player, like, at all. My family just streams everything. It's not about the DVD, it's about what it represents. What does it represent? You know. I, I don't... Well, in that case, all I can say is... Let's watch Pop Up <laughs> It's the only way to make friends. It is the one and only way to make friends, guys. Let's watch Power Fighters on DVD. How am I doing? I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. I've had a very long day, but I'm enjoying myself. And it was a very nice day, honestly. So I can't complain. <laughs> How was your day? <sighs> There's nothing that I want to do with you more in the entire world right now than to watch Power Fighters on DVD. I'm beginning to think you aren't taking this seriously. Coming up with stuff to say is hard. Work with me here. Hey guys, working on something? Ah! Martin! What are you doing here? Uh, uh, you know, just thought I'd go for a casual stroll. A casual stroll to a remote island? Oh! Hey, thank you for the bucky, Werner. Um, yeah, well, uh... Hey, cool drawing, Lucas. Is that supposed to be me? Oh, God. Uh, you think so? Yeah, it's a portrait for you. 
Too cool. You really captured my essence. Thanks, man. Psst. Go, go, go. Say the thing. Um. Something you wanted to say? D there was, but um, I totally forgot. You know how it is. Funny you should say that. I was thinking we could hang later. Just the two of us. Maybe that will help you remember. Why? Wait. I'm game right now. Cool. Let's roll. Cool. Later, Bob. But there was no... Yeah. There was no Power Fighters on DVD. I'm... No Power Fighters on DVD. That's... No, the friendship is not gonna work out. What? Did they resolve their problem without me? That can't be right. No, no. They resolved it because I inserted myself and pestered them about it. Of course. Of course they did. Of course they did, Bob. Yes, that sounds right. Good job, me. Quest complete. Now to get this pump started. Nice. So that would be two of the three pumps. Can we destroy this? Might as well take this with me. Now I'll always have Martin by my side. Oh no. What is Martin? Is Martin a weapon? Or Martin is a... Okay, Martin is a shield. I wish I was kidding, but Martin is an actual shield. Okay. Okay, horse shield. Let's go. The biggest issue we have is that I, I'll have to follow like the third pipeline. So I have to go all the way back and try and find it. Bum, bum, bum. Talk about a body shield. Yeah. We have a lot of funny things, to be fair. We have like a literal chessboard, trash can lid, scooter board, <laughs> trampoline. The trampoline is kind of funny. It's hard to use though, I think. Wait, hold on. I didn't actually equip it. Hold on. Mm, there we go. Let me show you. It actually lets you jump. It's really weird. Oh, I only just now noticed how our stamina bars are aligned. No, that's way funny. Oopsie. Bah, bah, bah. It's dangerous. Oh god. Okay. We're fine. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> it's so silly. Like most of what this game offers you is just super silly. Boing, boing. All right. We got two of them. Uh, serious time now. We need to go and follow this one. Wait, there's no water at all coming from this one. Okay. Dum -dum. There we go. Oh, there's a quest. There's Jada. She's not guarding the pump at all. At all. Should I try to sneak up? I don't know. Let me remove the slimes first because that is danger and we don't want danger in this world. We need to remove the danger. There we go. Oh. oh stop climbing. We're on a mission here. There we go. Okay. Should we just sneak over and turn it on? Sure. You know you shouldn't do that. Who? What? Me? Nothing. I'm not doing anything. I was just coming over to say hi, haha. What you got there? A tree sprouted underwater. Made it all the way to the surface. That's a tree? Yep. A magnolia, I think, but she's drooping now. If I stoop... If I stop propping her up, she'll drown. Wait, this little thing is supposed to be a tree? That is tiny as all living heck. Oh no, she you. Oh no, I, I, I skipped the dialogue. No! Could use a twig and some grass clippings. Oh, sure. I'll grab you some. Okay. I'll save this little tree. Then turn on the pump. Easy peasy. It's a tree sapling. It's a super tiny tree sapling. It is literally a baby. It is a baby. Okay. Plenty of good grass to cut around here. Probably good twigs beneath them too. I see. So we're gonna have to cut the grass and find... Oh, clippings. Ah, there we go. This should be enough grass for whatever Jada, Jada's up to. Jada, I got you. I got you funny. I got you funny grass. Here you go. What are they for? Watch. All right, I'm watching. Awesome. Now it will be okay, right? Maybe. What? No, maybe. Why only maybe? This puddle is stagnant. Water shallow and stationary, so it gets dirty. I'll go get some fresh water. 
Oh, okay. I'll stay here and make sure no one tramples her. Here, take this. I got a bucket. This will hold a ton of water. Anywhere deep enough to swim should be fine. Okay. I'm kind of surprised that, like, the cool kids are super cute. It's sweet, though. Are we supposed to take water from the literal ocean, though? I don't know if that's a good idea. Normally, I don't think that's a good idea. Because <laughs> there's a lot of salt water in there, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that is good for the tree. I get some fresh water. Great. Pour it on nice and gentle. There we go. Wow, it looks so much healthier. Hmm. Just need a little support. Almost good to leave on her own. What do we do next? Don't know. Huh? What do you mean? Is it going to be okay? What does it need? Sunlight. Magnolias need a lot of it, but this one sprouted in the shade. Her roots are tangled in the rocks. Won't survive if we move her. Not much we can do. But, but there has to be something. Hope so. Let me know if you figure it out. What? Get rid of whatever's blocking the sunlight? I will probably... Oh, we have to remove the entire sign there. I see. Everybody in this wall is super cute, including you. Oh my god, thank you. This one sign is blocking out the sun. I have to break it. It's an emergency. Okay, go break it. Go break. Go break that. There we go. It's an hello. Thank you for the blue caps. Thank you for doing so many blue caps, actually. Oh god, let me give you a big shout out. Dim, dim, dim. There we go. How you doing, Ethan? Are you having the food? I know you were going for food earlier. I didn't even think to break the sign. That was metal. You're pretty cool, Bob. That was metal. Want a distraction? Has not failed me yet? Eh, I'm sure Magnolia appreciates it. In fact, I bet she'd like you to have this. Ooh, a whole leaf? Is she sure? Sure. Pruning is normal for a strong plant like her. You know how I said magnolias need sunlight? Mm-hmm. They usually need well-drained soil too, not too soggy. This one landed here, under three inches of water, beside a shady cliff, surrounded by rocks and weeds. And she sprouted anyway. Whoa, hardcore! Yeah, she's gonna be fine. <laughs> Can't move these through. Hey, Bob, you know how plants need water to grow? Uh, duh. I'm thinking maybe our little gang does too. See ya. Aww. Aww. Ha! Huh? What does that mean? Oh, the pump! I totally forgot! Let's get this thing turned on! Bob has not a single brain cell to understand things. It is so bad. Time to head back to the splash pad! Okay, well, we turned the pumps on. Bye, Magnolia! Okay, bye, Magnolia. And the Magnolia Sophie literally the sprouted that Sophie very the second. Sophie the winged gatter. Hi. Hi, Sus. How you doing? The winged gatter. You're trying really hard to spell gator there. I see you. Okay. Let me go up there. Time to splash the gang with water. No, seriously, that's what we're doing. Apparently, they need that to grow. As was said by the cool kids themselves. Also, so let me give you a big shout out. Actually, I don't have the big one right now, but I can give you the tiny one for now. Dum, dum, dum. Your model looks very tired. That's because I am very tired. <laughs> the model is just the true experience. Finally, I've defeated everyone's cool. Now they'll have fun for sure. Here it comes. Here it comes. Ah, it's stuck again. Is it coming? So I guess you guys all wanted to powder on after all. It's whatever. We were being kind of dry. It wouldn't hurt to get wet. Same, I'm down for a splash sometimes, but it's cool hanging with you guys wherever. I can vibe with that. I just, I didn't want you guys to think I was lame. No chance, dude. Feels good to talk it out. Anything you want to add, Duke? Ah, uh, yeah. Hit us with a feel-good honk, Duke of Cool. Oh no, Duke has to actually talk to them now. The thing is, Duke was really not talking to them at all. The entire of the time, now Duke has to talk. Actually, I got an idea I think you fellas might like. Whoa! The Duke speaks? 
It's an honor. What's the plan? I figure since this is our turf and kids are out here making towns, why don't we make this place a town of our own? Well, yeah, we could all be the mayors of Coolsville. I see some great spots for a few houses, maybe a launch. All the kids who want to hang with us will finally have an excuse to stick around. Little gator game, you saw this on Ethan's wish list. Ethan actually bought this for me. No joke. Because of the uh one thousand what was it, one thousand dollar giveaway that was happening during Christmas. There we go. <laughs> I gave her the pocky. Great idea, dude. Ha! You think? Ah, Spark. You guys are too good to me. There's one more thing any good town needs. I bet we'll see it any second now. Wah! We're talking about water? I think we're talking about water. Oh, God. There it is! The main attraction! A little bit much of that. A little bit much of that. Huh, this isn't how I imagined everyone playing in the water. I'm surprised you were able to convince anyone to turn it on at all. But you did, and talking to everyone was nice. Not to mention Coolswell is looking dope. Yeah, so, uh... Ready to bring some Coolsville back to the playground town? You know it, dude. Keep the place warm for us. I'll try. I'll absolutely try. Also, zero confidence. Welcome in. Neil and Blumi, welcome in. Let me give uh, Zero a little shout out there. There we go. Because they have been watching the channel every now and then. Bum, 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 bum. Would you... Jada, Mayor of Coolsville, is a title I could get used to. Not worth the paperwork for. So that is like one of the three big quests. I think we did uh, two of them in total. I'm unsure how we're going to do the third one. Because I started it and I d then didn't find like anyone. Can I destroy? No, I cannot destroy the town. Okay. You know, it's always worth a try. Okay. They're not gonna convert the fountain into root beer. They should not be doing that. Anyways. I'll look out for maybe a map or something. Oh, I didn't help you out yet, did I? There you go. Let me remove the awful monsters for you. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. They were everywhere. I heard someone needed monsters, so I made some. I built and built and built all over the place. But then I actually looked at one. I had no idea how scary they were. Thank you for saving me from my own creations. They're so cute. They're so cute. Okay, we made another friend. That would be 41 friends by now. That's a lot. Now you know what water is easy to play in too. Gosh, wow, I had no idea. I, Agata, am very unfamiliar with water. Oh my god. Chill, Bob. Chill. Robin was trying to be nice. <laughs> So if you're aggressively friend making, that's how you play this game. That's how you play this game. Oh, Madeline is also already our friend. That's true. Yeah. Let's skip Madeline's dialogue because I've talked to this one already. You're finally free of Harvest Valley. You can play games now. Let's go. I was watching a little bit of that though. Character design seemed very cute. Hmm. The real question is, how do I get to the playground again or any type of map? Because this island is a lot larger than you think it is, right? There's also, there's also like a chest up there. I'm gonna go over. And yeah, this is exactly how I got distracted in this game. It's like you find loot somewhere, you find any kind of scrap or something, and you immediately go off track so hard. Like, look how much there is. Look how much there is that I apparently just missed. It's insane. I'm gonna have the same problem again, I swear. Okay, where is... Pebble. Pebble is the important thing. Yeah, I want that on my queue, please. There we go. And destroy. Let's destroy. I don't know if all of these respawn, actually, because it kind of seems to me like maybe they do. If you restart the game, that would make sense. 
I'm unsure. Maybe they don't. Maybe they don't. If they do and I end up, you know, running through all of the places I've already been to, well, I guess we'll have to deal with that. Okay. Remove this. Mm-hmm, nice. I mean, I'll see once I see if the NPCs have talked to me before or not. Okay, you have not talked to me. It would make sense that I haven't been here then. Did you do something? Oh, hey, guy. Uh, traveler. Hey, traveler guy. Uh, I set down my thing. What's it called? Mm. I set down my green weedy thing right here and now I can't find it anywhere. If you're hanging out around here, could you keep an eye out for it? All right, the wheelie thing. Oh, we have it? Apparently we had it. Here you go. Here you go, I found it at the bottom of the canyon. Whoa, I fell all the way down there, but it looks even better than before. Did you polish it or something? Yeah, it was a little scratched up, but I didn't want you to get it back broken. Thank you, traveler guy. Now I can slide down hills faster than ever. Here, take this. You earned it. There we go. A new friend, Hasten. I don't really remember if we were supposed to, like, make all of the friends or not. Oh, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing the time challenge. Sorry. Not right now. Right now is friend making time. So where's the other friend? Because I saw two there. I saw two people there. There you are. Over there. You seem scared. You seem scared enough for me to interact with you. So what's up, buddy? Mochi! It's a bear called Mochi. That is so cute. Oh! Hey, what's wrong? I climbed up here to look for the hero. But then I remembered that I'm scared of heights. Oh, you climbed up too, traveler. Now we're both scared. Uh, no, I'm not scared. W what You're not? But... but what if we fall and take fall damage? It would reduce our health and penalize us for climbing so high. Health? Fall damage? Oh, are we not including those in our game? I mean, I haven't noticed those being a thing. They are actually not a thing in this game. Bob is right. Oh, phew, that's a relief. Yeah, I've been climbing all over without a care. Wow, really? That sounds so fun. Thanks for curing my fear of heights, traveler. Now I can get down from here and help the town. <laughs> Give the hero my regards. I don't know if just simply telling a guy, hey, there's no fall damage cures the fear of heights. I feel like that is wrong. Do not randomly tell your friends there is no fall damage, please. I don't know. I don't know if that leads to the result you want. Okay, let's see. Team to on a streak. Hey, Voron! Welcome in! Congrats on a streak. Congrats on a stream streak. Ba -da -ba. I be climbing. Also, Kaji, hello! How you doing, you two? And Lunar! Jesus, all people coming in at the same time. Um... Yeah, I already forgot where I'm going. I'm gonna go to the playground, right? Playground is over there. I can kind of make it out. I can kind of see it in a distant background. Okay, let me land on a wall. Whale? Whale? Ah! I wanted to land there. I didn't want to get yeeted into the air. But fine. I'll take it, I guess. Okay, hold on. First of all, I need to give a uh, good old Luna Mirshan, very, very cute moth, a shout out. There we go. Fall damage is for chumps. Yes, true. No, I cannot go all the way up there. Or oh, maybe I can. Maybe I can cheat myself up there. I start hydrate. Yes, that is indeed D Mori in my chat. D Mori Cory. Ah, no. No, I thought I can go all the way up there. I cannot. No. Oh, that was terrible. Well, okay, I have to live with this now. So where is the, the map? Where's the map? How dare you shout me out? Everyone gets shouted out here. Hey Martin, what does the cool crew think of the place? Good, seems like everybody's found something they can vibe with. The mayors of Coolsville formally recognize the 
Playground Village is a sick place to be. Are you ready to make it even sicker? Yeah, I got an idea or two. Take a look. I don't know, I'm feeling something like this. I just need a few extra hands. Wanna give it a green light? Ah. Uh, so the idea is that we're just like randomly putting up funny decoration. Is that the idea? Yeah, we can do that, I think. Hmm. Let's go. Hmm. What do you think? You know what? I'm thinking that looks pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. This is definitely a place I would engage in some wicked commerce. You can mark it off as finished. To be fair, we did add... Did we add the swing too? Or was that there before? I think it was there before. I don't think we added the whole swing and everything. Oh, I like the market though. Oh, look at this. I didn't even realize that we were selling stuff in here. That's so cute. From Dome, welcome in. How you doing? Dum, 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 dum. Okay, we can't afford that. Can we, can we like create more? What is the quest here? Oh, there you are, Pop. I'm so excited to get started. I even made a character for myself based on my favorite board game. She's a cleric in the court of the Corgi Countess. Provided that she um, fits into your narrative. Hey, Garage, thank you for the gift that's to Crove Norm. Thank you very much. Let's <laughs> get sniped. Let's go. Sure, I guess. As long as it's not an evil countess. Uh, 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 I don't, don't be silly. She's lawful neutral. Okay. Got any other good ideas? You bet I do. I've got a whole project mapped out already. Uh, I can't wait to show you. Here's a look at my plan. As soon as we have some volunteers, I'm ready to get started. Yeah, let's, let's do the plan. It costs us, like, basically our friend count to build stuff. But I think we have enough friends to, like, get all of this built, honestly. Now for neutral is better than chaotic neutral. True that. Ah, Bob, it's even better than I planned. Do you think sis will be impressed? I can't speak for her, but I know I couldn't be happier. Everyone did a great job. I think we can call this project a success. Okay, there would be two of the projects. That means, like, the, the third one that we're supposed to do. I still can't do that, unfortunately. We were at the windmill earlier. We're at the playground right now. We've been at the big tree. Are we, like, sweating or are we wet? Why, though? Like, I don't remember going into the water or anything. <laughs> what is happening here? Okay, we're going to the mountain. I think we're going back to the mountain because that's where the quest was that I couldn't fulfill yet. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that the mountain is all the way over there, but I, I want to, like, climb up and see. So I'm not going into the completely wrong direction. Because I think the pumps were over here and the forest is, like, straight up that way. Mountain, it looks very much like this is the mountain area, so. If I'm wrong, I guess we're lost forever now. We'll have to live with it. Boom, boom, boom. I sent space monsters. Oh. I have not talked to you yet. Andromeda. Ah, it's you again, the green one. Oh, this one is one of the this one is one of the people with the main quest. From the theater group. Ah, it's you again, green one. So you finally realized the superiority of sci-fi setting. Sure, yeah. Space is totally better than high fantasy. I've decided. More importantly, Avery wants to show you a really cool science thing back at the amphitheater. Intriguing. But you couldn't have come at a worse time. We're deep in enemy territory, surrounded by space monsters. You know, I didn't notice before... But it's actually super cute that the, the fishbowl doesn't fit on the head because of the beak. Oh, that's fine. I fight all sorts of monsters. Space one should be no problem. Ah, so sure of yourself and you don't even have a blaster. Come to think of it, you don't have a protective suit either. How do you survive the vacuum of space? Uh, magic? My cool fantasy spells protect me from vacuums or whatever. Magic? Technology to surpass the Space Federation? Sounds too good to be true. I smell a space wants to lie. Could it be that you're native to the strange planet? But that could only mean... Ah, oh, you've left them right to me. What a cunning ruse. What? No, I'm not with them. 
Even if they do kind of look like me. That's weird. If you are true to your words, then help me dispatch these monsters. I will lay down covering fire from here. Pew pew. Okay, I see. We'll have to, we'll have to like destroy the cutouts. <laughs> the cutouts again. I swear. Wait, we can actually not destroy this one. This one's too strong. Okay, we cannot destroy the rocks. Space rocks are too strong to be destroyed. Got it. High, sci high fantasy sci-fi is the way to go. The thing is, it's like a theater group and they're fighting. Because each of them wants to do like a different genre. One of them wants to do fantasy, the other one wants to do sci-fi. And the third one I don't remember. But that was basically their story. So we're trying to get them back to like find a solution to their problem, I guess. Wait, have I deleted all of them already? There were only like four. Impressive green one. My apologies for doubting your ludicrous notions of space magic. It's okay. After all, magic is just like science. We don't understand, right? We can discuss such preposterous notions later, wizard. There is still danger afoot. Quickly, take this. Yo, we got the space blaster. It's a foam dart blaster. The ideal tool for losing fo foam darts. <laughs> it's just so silly and cute every time. I cannot get over that. Space aliens rarely travel in such small packs. It's only a matter of time until... Oh god! Another wave! Quickly, wizard! Blast them all! Okay. Well. We know what to do, right? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> Anything but that, for sure. Oh no, no. I want the, I want the space blaster. There we go. Much better. You know, actually, the pebble... The pebble, I think, falls a little less than the space blaster, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Assemble with Andromeda. Even the, the mission goal. Even the mission goal is so nerdy. I cannot even. What's up, Andromeda? This battle is nearly won, wizard. But whoa, we have awakened a most fearsome foe. The mothership. What the heck? Where did that even... There's no time. We must dispatch her before she summons an entire army. Guys, it's a mothership. Quiver and fear. Oh no, it's coming for us all. <laughs> I can't. Why is it so cute? Ah, oh, I wish my games of pretend back in the day had gone this hard. Mine too. Like, this is actually really cool. Oh, I don't even want to destroy this. Like, look how cool it is. It's like hovering in the air. There we go. We didn't even need to hit all of them. It's so easy. I must say, I never expected to defeat an alien horde side by side with a magician. <laughs> Me neither. Maybe an alien invasion in fantasy land could be fun after all. I suppose I could bind my creativity to just one plan for the sake of my peers. In the meantime, I'll return to home base to consort with Avery on their discovery. Until we meet again, may you outpace the light that guides you, wizard. May all your vilest dreams come true, spaceman. It's so cute. Wait, we actually got the lightsaber? No way. Oh my god, we have a lightsaber now. Oh no. It's so cute. But yeah, this entire game is basically just like... You pretending to be role-playing with all of your friends, right? Haha, <laughs> she was just telling me to be careful. The point is, though, that's only one of three. Uh, it's gonna be hard for me to find the others because this was really hidden. What's up with you? They're nearby. I can feel it. What's nearby? Enemies? No, pots! Pots! I feel them looming above me. It's freaking me out. Also, I'm allergic to, sur <laughs> to ceramic. Please destroy them all. I can't take it. Wait. Why are you... Allergic to that? That doesn't seem right. Is there an allergy for that? Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, thank you for the last bulu. I think it was the last bulu. I think that's all the bulu. Bum, bum, bum. The way the way the, the gator wobbles always gets you. It is absolutely beautiful. Hold on. What was it again? 
what was the what was the the command for like falling onto the ground so we don't get hurt i'll have to remember hold on dun, 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 dun. button mapping shield sled yeah that's all fine where is it it's like a really important thing that you can learn in this game so you don't get hurt when you fall down a cliff no i forgot about it Thank you for the sippy, bro. Ah! Ah, ah! There we go. I did the sippy. Okay, let's see. I wanna find out again what it was, what button. I don't remember. No! How will I ever know how to negate fall damage? There is no fall damage in this game. No, 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 no. Oh, I see more pot. I see more pot. There's more pot up there. One more pot. Boom. There we go. Oh, there's another one over here. They really are everywhere. Mm, right. I'll have to change my equipment again real quick. Bum, bum. Here we go. Have I played a short hike? No, I never did. Never played a short hike. But you know, I have a suggestion channel. Wait, what? Is it just me or is my sword wobbly too? No, that's kind of cursed. Cursed. Laser sword wobbling is a little bit, I don't know. That seems wrong. That should not happen. Okay, there's one more pot over there. I can tell why you're so scared. So many of them. And they're all hiding. Boom, boom, boom. Ah. Are, are they gone? I believe we got all of them. You did it? They're gone? Yep, all gone. No more pots. Oh, good. Um, yay, thanks, etc. Yeah, just... I was so unnerved that I never appreciated them. The craftsmanship, the artwork. Oh, uh, sorry? Haha! <laughs> Maybe my greatest enemy was actually my greatest friend. I need to learn more about pots. Thank you. Without you, I would have stayed afraid. So, see you in town? Yes, see you there. <laughs> Scooter. I like Scooter. Scooter had great character development there. Gotta say. Okay, we get one of the theater kids. I don't know where the rest is. Seems so hard to find them. Found Scooter. I see people playing down there. Or like running around at least. So I'll have to check that out eventually. But now I kind of want to be here though. So I have an overview and I can see if maybe one of the theater kids is hiding away up here. But it doesn't seem to be the... No, it doesn't seem to be that way. Because we haven't found Velma or Esme yet. We only found Andromeda. Hmm. Well, that seems odd. Whatever is on the ground there seems very odd. Maybe I should look and check that out. What is that? Are those like random spikes? I can't tell what that is supposed to be. Can't destroy it either, so I'm going to follow them for now. Huh. That's odd. There's more of them. Almost like swords. Yeah, I'm not really sure. No mortals allowed. Good, I'm immortal. Then it's completely fine. Rock smasher strike. Hiya! Is it in the cave? Am I supposed to go into the cave? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I'd like to look around, though. Have I befriended you? Who are you? Tanner. Okay, Tanner is fine. We already befriended Tanner, I think. What's happened last time? I don't really remember what it was like. I think we needed to destroy pots for him as well. 
Okay, I see more. I see more of them. We're going the right way, apparently. Okay. One's just gotta be deleted. No mortals allowed again. Dum -dum -dum. Let's see. What's up, buddy? Oh, that's a fantasy one. That's a fantasy one. Uh, vampire one. As me. Ah, a mortal bumbles into my dark domain. You did not heed the posted warnings, and now you will pay dearly. I'm the hero of legend. No evil monster can defeat me. Defeat you? Ha! <laughs> After your awful take on vampires, you're not worth the effort. No, your punishment will be the icy sting of my cold shoulder. Oh, that's it. Uh -huh, okay, ouch, I guess. That shoulder sure was cold. Wait, I forgot I do have something important to tell you. Time out for a second. Hump. No, really, it's a message from Avery. They want you to come see something cool and vampire at the MP Theater. Come on. You're in cold shouldering Avery too, are you? Mm. <laughs> okay, okay. If you come back, I'll be a vampire too. We can do vampire stuff. Ha! Huh. As if I would grant you the honor. You aren't worthy of the vampiric mantle. <laughs> you aren't worthy of the vampiric mantle. I cannot. Like, who's writing this dialogue? It's so good. I can be worthy. How do I be worthy? A fine question. What could you possibly offer me, an immortal being of the night? Who thirsts only for evil and desires only darkness? It would take an offering of nothing less than... <gasps> ice cream. I ice cream? The ice cream card is here. Forget everything I said. If you bring me a cone of my favorite sorbet, I will consider it a fitting apology. Really? Just bring your ice cream right from over there? So tantalizingly close, isn't it? But alas, it is guarded by the sun, my immortal enemy. <laughs> I have pleaded with the vendor in the past to join me in the shade, but to no avail. Like, come on! It's one measly river to cross! Your cart can't be that heavy! Mortal sometimes. So yeah, this cave has many amenities, but ice cream is not one of them. Bring me some and we will discuss your request for immortality. <laughs> As me certainly is, and yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, no, this character, this character screams he's in a vampire. I see absolutely what you mean. Dun, dun, dun. That kid is gonna be on Tumblr a lot when they grow up. No, no, no. Anyways, ice cream. Ice cream, right? <clears throat> You're not worthy unless you bring some ice cream. Is the best part ever. Okay, ice cream guy. Hello. Oh, Joy. A customer. And you're friends with that little girl in the cave? It's my lucky day. That's right. I like one ice cream, please. Sure. It's three bucks. Only three? That's a great deal. Here you are, my good vendor. We're not going to be paying with scrap, right? We're not going to be paying with scrap, right? We're not going to be paying with scrap. What is this? It's loot from Quests. This is a torn up takeout bag. I can see the grease on the scrap. I need real paper. I don't understand. You know, cash, dollars, it's, it's three dollars. Okay, I hear what you're saying. I'll give you 300 of my loot for the cone. So, the entire greasy takeout bag. No, I don't think my boss would appreciate that. Listen, if you don't have real money, I gotta get going. Um, hold on for just a second. Why me? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and Bob gets out the phone and starts texting. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> hey, ask me. Slight problem. The ice cream person is playing. They want free real dollars. Oh, God. Hold on a second while I, like, show you what the heck is being texted here, right? There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> ah, you see what I mean about that one? So needy. Do you have any adult money? I only have 50 cents. Wait, no. 55. I have 40, so almost a dollar between us. Hang on, I might know who has some more. Jill has joined the chat. They are literally putting together for ice cream. 
Hi, Jill. Hey, Scales. Hi, Jill. I'm Esme. Hello, Esme. Nice to meet you. Jill, you usually have some money on you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you get added to a group chat and the first thing that people say is like, you usually have some money on you, right? Money? Hmm. Thanks for the CPN heart and pseudo. Thank you for the sub. Or thank you for the resub. 17 months. Woo. Long time, long time. And all right, let me give you that shout out. And then get the money from Jill. Because apparently we need it for ice cream, right? Ow. Why? <laughs> God damn it. Why? Ah. The headset I'm currently reworking, actually. I'll have to like... Ow. 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 I'll have to change up some stuff to make it work again. Ah. Ow. <laughs> Did you need to throw that? Like, oh god. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, guys. We need the ice cream. We need the ice cream. Come on. I swear. Why, yes, heroic traveler. I have plenty of materials and would be happy to trade. No, sorry. Like, actual dollars. I'm on a quest to buy ice cream. Oh, yes. I usually have $10 in case of emergencies. That's more than enough. Unfortunately, most of that is circulating through Jean's gig economy at the moment. Excuse me, what? Oh, what? <laughs> you know, somehow... Somehow I really don't like that sometimes the fucking little gator says the same thing I do. <laughs> I swear. I still have two dollars I can lend you. Thank you, but we're still five cents short. Oh. It's okay, I've got one more person I can ask. Big Sis has joined the chat. No. Hey, Sis. Hey. Hi, Big Sis. Hello, Jill. Hi, Bob Big Sis. Hello, number I don't recognize. Bob, what's going on? Would it be possible to borrow some money? I want to buy an ice cream for my friend. We just need five more cents, please. You want me to buy you a nickel? Yes, please. And are you still there? Sorry, I had to catch my breath. I just any six dollars. Get yourself on two. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. Don't eat it too fast. We'll do. Thanks, everyone. Bye. See you later. Aww, that's so cute. The, the fact that they didn't, like, straight up go for the first person and them having enough money. This is so cute. I like whoever wrote the dialogue. That was super, super sweet. I do have other stops to make, you know. You'll be glad you waited because I would now like two ice creams. I have six dollars right here on my phone. It's not cash. Oh, if you wait for another minute, I can go run and, uh... No, it's it's fine. I'm sure I have an app or something. Hello! Hello, Hoopy. How you doing? Hello! Hoopy. Hoopy, Hoopy. I'm gonna give you a shout out. We're very close to getting ice cream, Hoobie. So please appreciate the shout out. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Here, send it to this account. Then, Great. What flavor do you want? Sorbet, please. What kind of sorbet? Th there's more than one. Yes, sorbet is just different kinds of goop on ice. Hmm. <laughs> goop on ice, my favorite. Um... This is for the cave girl, right? She always gets the same thing. I'll make two of those, okay? Phew, yes! Two of those! For a second, I thought this quest was gonna get even more bloated. What is that? Never mind. <sighs> Scooping this one always makes me gag. Here, I'm leaving now. Enjoy. What kind of? I got the vampire ice cream. It's red. This isn't the flavor I think it is. Is it? I sure hope she isn't committing to the bit that hard. Um. That's not good. Um. I don't know if I want to feed this little gator any blood. I feel like that's a bad idea. You sure it's just red velvet flavor? Mm, or cherry ice cream. Gotta be cherry, right? Gotta be cherry. Anyways. Here's your ice cream, or immortal one. Yes! Ahem, 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 indeed, I accept this treat. And the great lengths you went to acquire it. 
Your past transgressions are pardoned, and I shall grant thy request. Prepare thyself. Psst, here, put these on. Oh, cool. Thanks. <laughs> Look at me. Now I am a vampire too. <laughs> Come, sibling of the night. Let us feast on the icy cream of your labor. Uh, right. You've bravely touched your ice cream. Uh, you've barely, you've barely touched your ice cream, my pupil. Does something trouble you? <laughs> no, it's, uh, what flavor did you say this was again? Only the darkest flavor for the darkest and thirstiest of monsters. Oh. Black cherry. Oh, yum. Well, then we're fine. If it's only black cherry, then it's completely fine. I'm done. Ready to go meet Avery at the amphitheater? Kekekekeke. <laughs> Foolish Bob, I never agree to return with you. What? But the ice cream? You accepted the mantle willingly. Now we are both bound to darkness. Don't you want to see whatever it is they're planning? Yeah, kinda. But that is the vampire curse. The desire for that which is just out of reach. Alas, all we can do is wait for another mortal to wander by, to do our bidding. Oh, right. Stay in the cave forever? I don't like that. No, don't leave the cave. Vampires can't go in sunlight. But I really want to. As do I, yet we mustn't, for it would break continuity. Uh, so if there was a good floor reason we could leave? I suppose so. In that case, I have a solution that makes sense. Sunscreen? Oh shit, okay, we gotta find a solution. Sunscreen, magic spell, or very fast? <laughs> you just gotta be really, really fast. It works, it works every time. So let me put myself over there again, now that there's no more text messages, right? Sunscreen, you need to go for a magic spell. I'd go for very fast because it's fucking adorable. Um, alchemical sun resistance potion. Okay, let's go for sunscreen and call it an alchemical sun resistance potion, right? I have some sunscreen from home. It's 50,000, 50,000. I am invincible. Heck, okay, 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 sure. Let me get some of that too. Oh, now I almost want to know what the very fast would have been like. Pupil, you have opened my eyes. I only hope everyone else can accept my ways as you have. Yeah, Vampire Slap is kind of fun and tasty. As a token of my gratitude, I will not use my unbound power to lay waste to this world. I appreciate it. I'll be back up the mountain, defiantly facing the brightest rare sunlight I can find. Farewell. Wait, but... <laughs> I guess we figured that one out. So that would be two of them. The third one is going to be so hard to find. Like, this one was literally hiding in a cave. Away from humanity. I don't know where to find the third one then. As me will be a mega edgelord in the future, true. Absolutely true. Okay. There was two of them. Where the heck is the third one? So, this direction we already explored. I'm gonna guess that it's like... One of the directions I have not explored yet. But where's the where's the amphitheater to begin with? That's a true question here. Littering, let's go. Okay, there's some more pots over here. I'm just gonna like explore areas that I find that I haven't explored. Probably the most likely to find something new. I think this will be our cringe childhood memories. Just like Eason. I expect Eason to randomly time you out here. Eason is not a mod here. Eason can't do anything. No power. No power, guys. I still want to try to skip on the water myself, too. But maybe I'll wait another few minutes. Just to get warmed up. Okay, this one is not someone we need to talk to. Hmm. Yeah. No. Okay. I, 
have the feeling that I lost them on. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I have the feeling that I lost them on that we were supposed to be on. <laughs> was it like up there? I don't remember. I don't remember. Ethan will fume silently and then time Kaji out as soon as Kaji pops up into his stream. True. And I think Ethan hasn't even re registered any of what is happening, so it's all good. He has no idea. He has no idea he's been compared to Edgelord Mike Edge. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I'm gonna try my best to like climb back up. It's gonna take me a while though. Because honestly, we went all the way down. What's happening here? I would never have made it up here myself. Looks very dangerous. Very danger. But you as Miss Edgy Lord Streamer. You know what's funny? Because to this model, I got two reactions. I got the reaction it's super cute. And I also got the reaction it's edgy. <laughs> I can't really tell which one it is. It was like something in between. Dum dum bum. You guys stand still for a second. Okay, there's definitely a side quest I have to do. So that is good news. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna do it in a second. Sorry, there were pots. Okay, what's up, buddy? Dennis, stay away from that cactus. You'll hurt yourself. Fuck, cattle, don't pick their nose. Oh, oh, Western! The fruit fear that kid was about Western. All about Western. The demon what button at the moment? No. But soon, soon I will include it. Because right now I can just do it. <laughs> Oh, it's you. Sorry, you kind of caught me in the middle of something. Is this how playing cowfolk usually goes? Yeah, I mean, no. Well, hmm. We were crossing the peaceful prairie, but Sandra shouted snake and they all went berserk. Normally, I just let them tire themselves out, but their real wound wound up this time. I so you could use a hand, dear partner. Really? You want to round them up? You betcha, I'll, uh... Lasso up those cattle right quick. But, you know, in, in a nice way. Bob is just like me with Vesta and I have, like, zero idea. Normally I wouldn't ask for help from a stranger, but I guess you're a friend of Avery's. All right, Bob. Have a go at it. If you manage to round up these ragamuffins, I'd be mighty grateful. I'll try my best. I'll try my best. Yeah. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Hydrate! <laughs> the black makes me cuter and edgier. Let's go. I'm glad it does. Thank you for the sippy, Mori. Ah. Ah, there was a bug around here. I can see it, but I keep hearing it. Ah. I had to do the sippy right after. <laughs> Rawr, I'm an evil prairie goblin and I'm going to get you. Ah, well, help. Well, well, help, 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 help. The evil prairie goblin. I am so on my way to get him. No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Exercise is very important. I gotta get more exercise. Hey, last one to race back to your sister Lisa's. Ready, one, two, three, go. <gasps> go, 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 go. Okay. So two of them got got. This one's very easy. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. I want two cones, five cones, a hundred cones. Whoa. Was that something shiny over by your sister? Shiny? I want shiny. What is it? What is it? Absolute reaction to shiny. I like that. I like that very much. Why are you just standing there? Do you belong to them? I feel all better. I'm gonna run down the mountain as fast as I can. Oh, you don't belong to them. Never mind then. <laughs> they were like all the same size. So I thought this one was one too. Well, I'll be. You got them all. And in good time too. I owe you one, Bob. It's good to hear, actually, because, uh... So, see, I want more ice cream. Sandra, shush. I'm in character right now. What did I promise about ice cream? All right. Oops. Um, Moo. Yeah, Moo. Thanks for catching us, Moo. Sure, heh. So, anyway, Avery is... I still haven't found a bug. Ah! Uh, did you check your nose? That's where mine was. Ah! Excuse me, all of you. Bob is talking right now. Let's be respectful. Um, your, your cattle sure 
are a handful, right? Yeah, but I love them. Just can't help it. Ah, okay, so the thing is... I hear ya, Avery's got some crazy scheme to get the gang back together at the amphitheater. I don't buy it, but I owe ya, so I'll be up there as soon as I can coral this lot. Yeah, yes, awesome. See you there. Alright, everyone should be back at the amphitheater, which I don't remember where it is. Time to go see Avery's big plan. I can't wait to absolutely get lost on trying to find them. <laughs> oh no. Hmm. Exercise is important indeed. I need to do more exercise. I'm gonna do my exercises again. I haven't done them in a while. But I've also been like outside a lot more. Um, still, some exercising is always good. You should do it if you can. Alrighty, we found the theater. For some reason, I found it immediately. I'm so glad. What's up, buddy? Uh, why is Andromeda talking? I'm talking to, to the froggo. <laughs> I don't care what works in your can, and there's no such thing as SPF 50,000. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. Even if Science Boy decides it works, it sure as heck won't fly on a farm. You should worry about what does fly on a the farm. They're a prime abduction target. You're threatening to abduct my kin? Huh? Not me, the aliens. You both haven't changed a bit. Um, Avery, now might be a good time to tell everyone your idea. Really? Do you think so? All right. Thank you for the pasta check, by the way. Thank you very much, Mori. All right, everyone, here's my biggest idea yet. What if we took all the slimes and put hats on them? Every the other idea. Huh? The one that's supposed to make everyone work together? Uh, all right, that, that, that idea. The, the idea that will make space for us, cow folks and vampires all come together as one. Oh, this ought to be good. I think that we should all get together and uh, open a restaurant. Uh, space restaurant? No, Andromeda, not a space restaurant. Avery, I'm confused. What does a restaurant have to do with vampires? Or frontier living? Or the vast expanse just past this meager sky? The, the answer to all of these questions is uh, very simple. I forgot. What? Avery! S sorry, everyone. I couldn't stop thinking about slimes and hats. Can you imagine one of the violet ones in a witch's cap? Or a blue one in a little top hat? So cute! Um, maybe if I could just get another minute to think? I don't want to start a business with people who don't appreciate me. At least we can agree on that. Thanks for trying, Avery, but I ought to... I ought to go get those rascals and the treats, I promise. Oh my god. This is not going anywhere. I thought Avery was going to clear it up. Avery's not clearing up anything. <laughs> His idea is a slice of life anime brilliant. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Honestly, that would work out. That would work out for this group of friends. It is a very, very cute game. This is meeting adjourned. I have a feel of asteroids that needs navigating. Oh, God. Hmm, there's an idea. Maybe I'll find a nice sunny asteroid field, too. You can, and you know it. Wait, um, don't go. I'm sure I'll remember. Maybe next time, Avery. Come on, Runs. Let's ride. No, no, no. I can't let them leave again. Um, um. Hey, uh, what about food? Huh? What about it? Restaurants need food. Farmers have food, right, Valma? That we do. And we need waiters to carry the food around. T tiny energetic waiters? Okay, I see where you're headed. And it's in space, right? Oh shit, that's not even that's not even Bob. And it's in space, right? Well, no, it's uh, probably not in space. But we have to cook the food in something, maybe some advanced technology. Of course, warp technology on an Earthbound planet will be unmatched in popularity. This is so bullshit. <laughs> oh my god, Bob is trying to bullshit this so hard. <laughs> and half of a restaurant is ambience. You'll need an interior decorator and a charismatic hostess. Definitely, and after everything, I think all of that stuff fits into a fantasy world, after all. 
What do you say, Wilma? Shall we combine forces to show some mystical patrons truly out of this world cuisine? <laughs> Don't forget a truly villainous atmosphere. Well, I do have to get these kids their ice cream. But I can't handle two more goofballs when I get back. I'm in. Hooray! I'll start making the menu. I'll start folding napkins. I will draft some blueprints. Great, let's split up and get started. You'd unironically watch them while they're actually doing it. I knew we could get along eventually. Thanks for bringing everyone together, Bob. Eh, sure. I'm glad you asked me to. Everyone's ideas turned out to be a lot of fun. Uh, didn't I tell you they were creative? So, about the playground. We'll definitely be there. I have so many great ideas, I can hardly stand it. I hope you're ready for all the drama you can handle. Uh, I hope so too. All the drama you can handle is not really a good promise, I will say that. Oh dear. Oh, we made four new friends, let's go. Pretty good. Welcome, valued patron to Mount Bistro. Table for one, is it? We happen to have a very special hero of the whole world this count this evening. Aww. The flavor rises on a molecular gastronomizer operating at full capacity. Look at that. Thanks to science, our food is tasty all the way down to the last atom. I love how they actually like integrated all of this into a setting. Although none of this works together, it's pretty funny. I always say that the perfect dining experience is marked by a healthy amount of fear. Will you enjoy your meal, or will you become the meal? <laughs> Tip well, and you'll never have to find out. I love the vampire. I love the vampire so much, it's so fucking funny. Ah, the flavor rises on a molecular gastronomizer operating at full capacity. Okay, okay, okay. I was not trying to talk to you, well. Any game that gives my brother something to do with all that energy is an A plus in my book. I wonder if I could get him to keep playing restaurant with the dishes back home. Oh, all of them have like actually come here. That's cute. This is super cute. All of these other people I've already befriended, by the way. I wonder if they only appear once you befriend them. Dum 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 dum. So now here's the real deal, though. We have gotten like all of the free friend groups together. Oh shit, oh shit. Can I not climb up there? Am I not strong enough? I'm not strong enough to climb up there. Oh god. Why not, though? Let me climb up there. There we go. Finally. So. Our next goal is going to be going back to the playground and seeing... I'm going to guess we didn't befriend everyone. I also know that there's probably two more bracelets we can get, and I don't know where. Anyways, back to the playground we go, we'll see what else we can build. And then I'll eventually see if there's still things I can do in the game or not. Oh. Mm, where... Where do we build, like, the last bit? That is the question. Oh, the ice guy's here. Wait, the ice guy went to the playground. I'd get chewed out if my boss found out. I missed on out on this many customers. So, here I am. Awesome. Can I please have a... Oops, sorry. We're all out of that. I guess this person is no longer selling to me. Ah, that's Avery. I didn't see Avery. I only saw the sign. I was so confused. Hero, hero, thank the stars you have finally reached your journey's end. Let us dance and be merry. Huh? Abby, no, we still have to impress pixies. Oh, yeah. Hero, hero, there is so much left to do. We're going to need everyone's help to impress your sis. And luckily, I have the perfect idea that will give everyone a chance to shine. Ta-da! What about this? Oh, and this, and that should go here. How does everyone feel about this design? I love how the sketches literally say nothing about what's going to happen or be there. It's like, huh? <laughs> what does it mean? The only thing I can tell is like the uh, the rooms they've lined out. Anyways, I ha we have enough friends to do this so we can just like get through with this. 
Well, I'm out of ideas. Oh, um, do you think it will be good enough? Everyone sure looks like they're having fun. I think we did a-okay. Uh, yeah, you're right. Gotta show sis we're having fun. I declare this building done. Hooray! That's the last building! Playground Town is officially finished. I guess that means it's almost time to show big sis. But, uh, I should tell my friends first. Y yeah, let's check in with Jill, Martin, and Avery. Okay, for some reason we have to talk to our friends first, I see. I kind of want to talk to a vampire one more time, sorry. But it's like one of my favorite characters, come on. Ah, my thrall returns to the comfort of darkness. Are you ready to bring this world to ashes? <laughs> it's so random. Um, not yet, we're still doing the whole town thing. As you wish. I will curb my hunger for another century or so. I appreciate it. <laughs> this, this, Really, they really went all out with this character. I love it. I absolutely love it. Anyways. <clears throat> juice bar. I really love that they put like all of these characters back into the playground. It's so cute. And it actually makes like the experience of making friends a lot more fun. Anyways, let's get back to our friend group and see what they have to say. Well, what do you guys think? It's a good-looking town, if I do say so myself. Last chance to actually talk to your sister before thrusting this all upon her. Oh, Martin, don't be like that. It's beautiful, Bob. I'm sure she's going to love it. Yeah, great. I'm sure this will be enough. You're the one who knows your sis best. If there's anything else the town needs to be perfect, now is the time to do it. Because after this, there's no going back. What? Like, not at all? Nah, I'm just kidding. We've got all day. Oh, haha. <laughs> cool. What do you say? Are you ready to show the town off? I think we're ready. I pretty much think we're ready here. So, it's ready. Let's show big sis. Sis! Sis! Hey, Akedo. Come to check on my progress? No, even bad. Wait, why? Are you finally done? Um, no. Sorry. I was just a guest, didn't mean to get your hopes up. That's okay, because I'm having such an amazing time with everyone at the playground. We've got a blacksmith and an astronaut and even a whole castle with towers and bridges and everything. Wow, that all sounds great. It's the greatest. It's so cool that everyone dropped everything they were doing to play. Ha, ah, I see. Come see for yourself. Just for a minute, a half a minute. I don't even worry about all those books and stuff. You can just leave them right there for no reason. <laughs> Kiddo. I talk to you for a sec, grown up style. Ah, I don't like where this is going. I don't like it. <clears throat> grown up? Haha. <laughs> Sorry, sis. It's playtime. You know the rule. <laughs> well, yeah, it's about that, Bob. I know what you're trying to do here. You do? It's not that I don't want to play or that all those memories aren't happy or that I'm avoiding you or... Dang, I'm butchering this. Um, I just think that if you see it for yourself, I'm sure it's incredible, but I still have work to do and playing with you as well, it's... Uh, what I'm saying is this assignment needs to get done. I can make the day go how you imagined and still finish in time. What does that even mean? It means I'm not going, Bob. I'm staying here and doing my lame grown-up assignment. But... She literally... She bought us ice cream! What do you mean? She bought us ice cream. Come join! Believe me when I say it's not an easy choice, but I have to focus on what's important right now. I'm sorry. Just play with the little bro already. She, he won't be little forever. Yeah! Okay. Okay. I guess I'll go now. Okay, I really hope you have a great time. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot live with a sister. Like, generally. We built all this and she didn't even see it. She didn't even, like, look up once. Come on. Come on. No, we're not ending like this. She's... She's busy. She said no. Yep, I knew it. Ah, uh, come on, Martin. They're having a moment. Get everyone to play. We built a whole town. I thought that would be enough. 
Ah, scales. It will be enough. We just have to double down, right? Maybe we can try some different colors? Maybe the timing was off? If it isn't enough now, it's not going to be. Martin! No, seriously, look at this playground. Look at all of this. It's amazing, spectacular. Everyone poured their whole day and every ounce of creativity they had into it. Adults gawk at stuff, not even half this impressive. Hi, Lavrana, welcome. We could still make it better. Maybe, but that's not the point. Bob, if your sis isn't impressed with all of this, then it's not about the game. It goes past it. You need to talk to her. I... I know. I know I do. I just don't have the words. It's okay, Bob. Your friends are here to help. Why don't you try and talk about you and your sister's game and what it means to you? Um, okay. It's a bit complicated. Complicated doesn't have to be scary. Yeah, imagine we're your little help of fairies, helping you navigate the dark forest of your mind. Oh no. Oh no, this is gonna get emotional, isn't it? I'm not prepared for emotion. I don't want to be prepared for emotion. This way, Bob. This monster's to slay. Oh no. We're gonna get through like all of the memories, right? Oh no. Good job, Bob. You beat them. That's 10 points. Okay, at least, at least the memories are not, like, making me cry immediately. We're good. Plus one. Quick, if you're fast enough, you'll trigger the ice cream bonus. The ice cream bonus? Aww. Look at us go. We even, we even got the fairy! No way! Whoa, you smashed a big one! That's worth three hearts! We visited the park every weekend to play our game together. And we both looked forward to it all week. Do you remember why you stopped? Uh, come on, let's keep moving. Aww. I don't want the little gator to remember why they stopped. I just want the sis to like finally accept that she has to be there. Wow, what elegant technique. Oh my god. Why are we having, like, the... The moment where we learn stuff? She's supposed to learn. <laughs> God damn it. Bonus round. Five times multiplier. I don't want the bonus round. I don't want it. I just want happiness. For the gator. Then you can fight the boss, but only if you can read the map. Pass, 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 pass! War, did she make up all those systems herself? Yeah, that's right. Playing with Sis was the best. Every time we played, she had a new idea. Everything fit together just right. And the hero always won. How far back does all this go? Oh no. You said we're learning, we're learning why... Why the sister... Stops playing with us. Because she's now an adult and she has assignments to do, I guess. And it's really sad, and we're going through, like, all of their good memories. We built, like, an entire town in the playground. And she didn't even look. Like, she didn't even look, okay? Keep going. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm mad at her. I'm mad at her. I don't like her right now. She better change. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. No, we're not the big sister. We're the, we're the tiny gator. We're the little bro. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, Sophie's the little brother for sure. <laughs> I am the little brother for sure. <laughs> yeah, if you Simon, so shut up. I don't want to hear it. Leave me alone. Assignments. Okay. <clears throat> bonk. 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 The hero has to be clad in green. I am green. Great, you're already halfway there. This is it, the first time we started playing together. Oh, this is the part where Sis has you pick a hero name. Oh, that's what we did in the beginning of the game. Oh my god. The name you picked seems familiar. Alright, 
This is when I started going by Bob. Choosing a name was part of the fun, and I liked how it sounded, so I kept it. It's sweet that it came from something you and your sister shared so closely. Names have a way of sticking, no matter where they come from. Yeah. Guess I just never thought about it. What's Bob's real name then? It's Bob. <laughs> it is now Bob. <laughs> Hang on, something about all of this is biting at me. Is everyone else seeing the pattern here? Seems like your sis is always making a game and never playing it. As the brother of two little sisters, let me tell you, it's not always fun having to be the big kid. You're right, she never got to be the hero and being the game maker person is exhausting. She always was tired too. I don't think she would have made such a complex game if she wasn't excited about it. You can entertain kids at age with a game of tag. Wop. What do you think the game means, sir? Well, I think Jill is right. She must have liked making it, but it's a lot of work. So, I guess asking her to play is actually a lot of pressure. Pressure that I've been putting on her all day. But I, I don't feel, I don't feel like this is where we should be going with this convo. No, that is not a lot of pressure. <laughs> it really isn't. It shouldn't be. Okay, so we just tell you so that it's her turn to be the hero. Oh, yeah. Problem solved. I just have to apologize and let her be the hero. Then she'll want to play for sure. Not so fast, Bob. Earlier I asked you why you and Sis stopped playing the game. We never talked about it. All right. I guess now is the time. Those memories are over there. Back the way we came. This path is uh, less taken care of, I guess. Nothing a brave hero and a legendary sword can handle. Oh no. You can just tell Bob is trying to forget this. Oh no. But we're already starting with like Bob playing alone here. I'm getting sad over it. Hmm. But you can see Bob keeps going, right? But eventually, like, falls down every now and then. This is sad. I don't like it. I don't like the sad Bobs. It's so sad. Stop that. Oh, God. You don't even have to... break these, but I'm breaking them anyway. Oof, Bob is left-handed just like Link. Yes, exactly. Exactly. There's a lot of, like, uh, Zelda references in the game as well. Like, they don't make a secret out of it or anything. That they're heavily inspired by... Link. Oh god. I don't like seeing, like, the, the bobs on the ground and stuff. It's so sad. Don't do that to me. Also, Marrow, congrats on the, on the stream series. Oh god. I don't wanna... I don't wanna break this one. I just... I don't want to. This was the day Sis told me she wanted to go to computer school. She said it would help her achieve her big dream, and we were both really excited. Looking back, though, that was the start of her having less and less time to play with me. Schoolwork can do that sometimes. We have to choose adult stuff. Hmm. But not always. You gotta make time for your little bro. We can't just completely go for schoolwork. No, look how look how depressed this little gator is. I cannot. Where are we going? One day she didn't want to talk at all. Not about the game or TV or the weather or anything. That was it. After that, she never wanted to play the game again. Didn't want to or didn't agree to? Ah, uh, right. She didn't agree. Maybe she was feeling pressured. I'm sure she wanted to. She must have been really going through it to outright ghost you. I've had days like that. But Martin, shut the fuck up. Literally. I don't like Martin's interpretation of things. I don't. I don't. There's more of us falling down. 
I'm not even sure if we're supposed to go here or not. I just keep going there. No, this is where we where we're talking. Oh dear. Let's go back up. I think it was over the hill that we needed to go. Can't even destroy these. More of these. More of us falling down on the ground. They keep reusing this one. Yeah, there's another one right there. They are kind of looking at the middle here, but there's nothing in the middle. I'm just gonna assume that we need to go all the way down. Because we seem to be leading there. There we go. When she went away to college, I stopped seeing her altogether. Even when she's home, she's working on something. I know she's busy and I want her to succeed and I don't want to pressure her. But I don't want to never play the game again either. Aren't we playing the game right now? Well, kinda, but... With rules and friends and towers and monsters and heroes who save the land? Yes, it's just... Sounds like a great game to me, <laughs> Avery. You're so fucking... You know, I like Avery, but like, Avery, you are so stupid. <laughs> it is obvious that, that Bob is like super depressed that, that the sister is not taking part, right? But I was only playing the game to get sis to play the game. Because it's not a real game without her. There we go. Finally, Bob gets to say something. Which definitely sounds silly when I say it out loud. No, it doesn't sound silly. Well, kind of sounds like you figured this whole thing out. Yeah, I, I know what I want to say to my sis now. Because it is a real game. We did a lot of work to make it real. And I want you all to know I appreciate that. Aw, Scales, you big softy, come here. Thanks, guys. Helped a lot to talk to you. Man, if only someone suggested that earlier. Haha, <laughs> knock it off. You go, Bob. This time your sister's really, really, really gonna. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, guys. Whatever happens this time, I'm ready for it. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Let's see how it goes this time. We're on the way. In our little silly vampire outfit. Hydrate! Hi again. Thank you for the hydrate. Hey, kiddo. Aww. So, um, how is college? Oh, it's fine. The work is tough, but I'm happy to be there. Does it really have lockers and hall monitors and big gigantic classrooms like on TV? Most of that stuff says in high school. There are lecture halls, though, and they're way too big. If I don't get a seat close to the front, I sometimes can't even hear what the professor's saying. That stinks. They should give the professors megaphones. <laughs> megaphones? Yeah. Then you'd always be able to hear them. And even if the lesson was really boring, nobody would fall asleep. <laughs> you might be onto something there. I bet the professors would get fed up with the noise before the students did. Maybe I should write a letter to the dean. Go for it, but be careful. The evil Dean is known to crush any ideas that are too much fun. Evil Deans are real? Maybe. <laughs> I've never met mine. Don't let that stop you from trying, though. Aww. It sure is a lot of work putting a whole big game together, huh? Yeah, it is. But uh, that's not the player's fault. Games are just hard to make, you know? Yeah, I know. And multiplayer is a nightmare. <laughs> I bet. I'm excited to hear about all that later. Why does this feel like a game dev discussion? Why do I feel like the game devs have written this one? <laughs> I don't know. I, I kind of feel like uh, there might have been some involvement with the people who were working <laughs> on the other stuff. Uh, what's that grin? You look like you're about to burst. Do you want to talk about it now? 
No, it can't wait. I just wanted to say... Yeah, you can post clips of uh, my own stream. Should work. Those links should be fine. Thanks for everything. All the ideas. And explaining everything to me. And being nice to me, even though you were stressed out and... You don't have to say every little thing, kiddo. I'm happy to do all that for you. Okay, just one more. Even though you have work to do, I'm really glad you're here. Aww, this is so cute. Oh, thank you for the clip. I'll watch it later. I'll watch it after the stream. I don't want to, like, interrupt right now. It's cool. Thank you, Bo. Thanks, Bob. I'm glad, too. Cool. <laughs> Sorry, I waited a hundred million years to tell you that. Now we're both so old. <laughs> Don't make me laugh like that. I might crumble into dust. You're right. I better go enjoy my youth while I still have the chance. Love you. Bye. Good luck on your project. Love you too, kiddo. I'm still mad. At least look at what your little brother has built. Come on. You silly bean. Alright, time to focus. Focus on your future. Focus on what's important. Oh, come on. Close that laptop right now. You cannot say that. There will be a nightly homework assignment, a weekly quiz, and five major projects before the semester is through. I do, n I do not take late work. Excuse me, sir. For which of our projects will we be working in engine? If you stay ahead, you will begin practical work with me next year. Now, oh, come on. I'm like actually tearing up here. <laughs> You'll have to transfer schools. There's no other way? I'm afraid so. The magnet program you're looking for is only available elsewhere. I have to make a decision before the other applicants start piling up. Oh my god. I don't get it. This already is a real game. And I mean a real, real game, like Legend of Hero. I want to make something that everyone can play, something they love. And when I'm done... We can play it together. So she's developing an actual game? Is that what she's doing? You know what? I think I've earned a break. There we fucking go. There we go. I hate that we don't get to see her reaction, Bob. <laughs> Holy heck, Bob. Where do you get all this plywood? There we go. Aww. Might be a story of one of the deaths. If it is, I'm actually, like, crying even more. <laughs> don't even bring that up. Oh, shit. She was trying to make a video game to share with her brother. It's so cute. It is so incredibly cute. I cannot even. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy it didn't end tragically. Because somehow I keep choosing games that are like really cutesy and then they end in the most tragic way ever. I'm glad it had a good ending. Thank you. Thank you for giving it a good ending. <laughs> for real. Oh, God. It's always like those really cutesy, really leisure games that have the sweetest and, like, saddest story. Thanks for helping with the town. The cottage was a great idea. Yep, I'm full of them. <laughs> so you're getting back to work now, huh? Looking at memes, actually. I've done enough work for one day. My group members will just have to step up. Those guys could use a lesson in teamwork. After today, I'm sure you'd be the perfect teacher. I do need a little rest before I'm able to keep up with you and your friends again, but I'm still in the game. Consult of the Purple Witch if you need potions, brood, or curses lifted. Or if you just want to talk. Hehe, <laughs> I will. Thank you, a goodly witch. Aww. A new friend in town, big sis. Don't do me like that. Don't do that to me. Ah... We befriended, we befriended the big sister. Still having fun with all your friends, kiddo? Doth you see, get tonic from the purple witch. Everything is perfect. I just wanted to say hi. Very well. Then I shall return to my studies, Arcane. 
very well that I shall return to my studies arcane. But remember that you are always welcome here. Oh, it's so cute. Be safe on your journey, little hero. Ah, finally. Finally, she's like in the game. Oh, wait, you have another quest. What's up? Let you finally talk things out with your sis. She seems like she's having fun. And hey, be sure to stay in touch with your younger self. We're definitely too young for you to be saying that. I just mean, try to see the world through the lens of your memories more often. I don't understand at all. Can you explain it like a video game? Bruh, fine, uh. Go to the settings and toggle baby gator mode for a new perspective. How's that? Amazing, now I can go to the settings and toggle baby gator mode for a new perspective. <laughs> you are such a goober. The fucking game is a goober. Okay, hold on. Where is it? Where's my baby gator mode? <laughs> totally worth it. We are now tiny. <laughs> it took so long. And what we get is like a tiny mode. Oh no. It is very cute though. It is super cute. The bubble is even better it is. Let's examine the bauble. Very important. Okay, let's let's talk to Jill. How goes the monster hunting skills? Slaying evil is no problem for the fearless green hero. But it is kind of tough finding every little hiding spot. Eh, uh -huh, I thought you might say that, and I have some exciting news. I've compiled... Um, blah, 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 I can't even... <laughs> I've compiled statements from everyone about where they've seen game pieces into a comprehensive map. In other words, I know where all the loot is. Wow, that's amazing, Jail. Can I see it? Hey now, that's hardly in keeping with the adventuring spirit. If you get stuck, send me some details about your location. I can point you in the right direction. Okay. Oh, okay. So I could potentially, I could potentially like kill all the monsters, get all the pots that are left over. And is Avery gonna tell me about the leftover friends? Hey, Bob. Now that your big sis quest was over, wanna be the promoter for the saloon? A promoter? What's that? It's the person who goes around telling everyone how great the restaurant is. If I know customers, then send them to the playground. So, the same thing I've already been doing? Exactly. You're the perfect gator for the job. Here, you'll need this. I got a megaphone and a job, I guess. This will help find people who haven't visited the playground, even from far away. Okay, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. So let me check. Oh, it's actually an item. Okay, cool. But how do we know when we get all of them? How will we know? Yes, Anne, welcome in. How you doing today? Um, I wonder how many I actually missed. Because I feel like we have a lot. How far are you away? Where even are you? Are you all the way on top of the tree? You are! No wonder I couldn't get there. Okay, let me check if we can get there now. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to go for, like, all of them, depending on how good the megaphone is. But I'll try going for the ones I see. Hey, thank you, Yazan. Very nice of you. Oh, it's the... It's a goddamn monkey. Kaka, sharp talons, razor beaks, and bracelets, where you least expect. It is I, the bracelet shop. Would you like to buy one of my beauties? Only 500. Yes. Woohoo! Wonderful. Another beauty joins your collection. Aha! Another bracelet. I feel the power surging through me. Oh, this was the fifth one. Hero, do you see what has happened? I bought a bunch of bracelets. Not just a bunch. All. You have purchased all. Each and every bracelet in the entire world is now yours. To commemorate this momentous achievement, I have an extra present for you. 
the present of knowledge. My beautiful, marvelous bracelets do nothing. What? But, but I worked so hard to get those. No refunds. Oh, no. <laughs> now go forth with the knowledge that the power was inside you all along. Goodbye. No refunds in data. Is it true? Do these really not do anything? If that's true, then let me stopping me from climbing as much as I want. I have infinite stamina. We actually get infinite stamina? No way! No way, these are really cool changes to make after you've beaten the game. This is really smart, I like that. Moonscape scam lesson for modern kid, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are some really cool ideas that other games should be, you know, using. <clears throat> I like that. Okay, there's another quest there. I tried to going through a little bit of the content at least, because like, this seems to work just fine. This seems to work just fine. La la la, no one can see me. I am invisible. La la la, I can't be seen. Someone approaches, they can see me. Yes, I can. Where's the noise coming from? We're gonna pretend. I hear someone talking, but where could it be coming from? There's no one here. <laughs> Where's the mysterious laughter coming from? Is there a spirit here? Ah, you can hear me, traveler. Only people attuned to the magic can hear my voice. A gift for a friend such as you. There we go. That was an easy friend to make. What the heck? Mm, all the way over there is another friend. I'm guessing I missed a lot of people, actually. Because those two were really close together. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get there. What are you up to? I remember you. I think I started your quest and never finished it. That's amazing. You must be the hero of legend. I am, but what gave it away? Oh, Tom told me to look out for a fidgety alligator. And that would be the get hero. Um, I mean, it was your skills with a sword, of course. No ordinary soldier could have done it alone. <laughs> we should celebrate our victory back at the playground. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot to like. I forgot to get done with this quest apparently. Up. Yo yo, fearless hero. Just wanted to let you know, I did a head count and we got them all, baby. Everyone who was here the first time is back in the game. So good job. That's great. Thanks, Tom. Gosh, that's so many friends. It's all of them. I made all the friends. I hope I can remember all those names. Okay. So we made all of them now. I thought we were missing a lot more. We were missing like three people. Amazing. That kind of leads me to where I wanted to be with the game. I wanted to like get every friend and there we are. Mm, I don't know if I should be going back to the playground or not. I doubt it unlocks anything. Because we already got like infinite stamina and everything. Bum, bum. One last thing though, one last thing though. I want to look through our inventory. Because we haven't unlocked all of these. And we can definitely, I think we can build all of these, no problem. Okay, we've built those. This is built. This was by far the best one. Next to the slime hat, this was by far the best hat. Because this one lets you literally Naruto run. Which is insane. <laughs> yeah. The other favorite I had was this one. Oh, I didn't I didn't unlock the Western White Brim. Oh, I cannot even. I have too little scrap for that. Yeah, I've already found everyone is true. Oh, Nelly! Nelly, welcome in! Bit of a bad timing because we just finished the game, kind of. <laughs> well, I'll take it. Raid messages. Ah, what are you playing? What are you playing? Hello, Raiders. Welcome in. Played this really adorable game about a gator making friends in the woods. It was very, very fun. Let me see. 
You're playing Minecraft again. You're on that Minecraft type, aren't you? Minecraft is really cool, though. And you got it, like, modded with a lot of funny mods. Here you go. Big shout out. How's your modded Minecraft experience? I might actually lead your uh, raiders somewhere else soon. I just wanted to show off the hats one more time. I wanted to show off especially this one. Because this one lets you in a router run. And my other favorite. Which is this one. That literally it bobbles. It's so good. It is so good. Look at it bobble. Look at it go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but it's like it's like the last two things I wanted to do before seeing for a raid target. <laughs> so I'll appreciate the raid. Thank you very much. We're gonna play Outer Wilds when you just want a Minecraft. Oh, Outer Wilds. Actually, I think I started that. I started playing that. I need to get back to that. I didn't do it on stream. I did like off stream. But yeah, I need to get back to that. Also, I wanted to unlock this. And we there we go. I did. There we go. Apparently, this was all of the, the hats and collectibles in the game. So now I have the Western hat as well. I can be the gator with the cowboy hat. There we go. All right. I will see, though. Where are we going to lead you guys? So you don't get bored, right? Since we're already finished here. Let's see. Sus has a... Actually, Sus has a great day today. Because for Sus, Dominion 6 came out. And this is like one of the games he was really looking forward to. So I know what we're going to raid into Sus. He already has like quite a bit of people, I see. So I want to maybe surprise him with you guys as well. If you would stick around, that would be very, very nice. Let's go for something cute. Let's go for like Gator Raid or something. You know what? Gator Raid. Let's be punny. Let's be punny and funny. All right. I appreciate everyone having stuck around so far. And yeah, I'll see you over at Sasses. Thank you, Nelly, for the raid again. I'm so sorry that I'm not stopping right there. But I just made like every single friend in this town. Let's, let's look at these cute cats while they stop, huh? Let's, let's stop here with cookies and milk. But yeah, I made every single friend in the town like literally a few seconds before you raid it. So I can't really do much more anymore. <laughs> Alrighty. I'll see you over there. You have a good time. And goodbye. Tomorrow I'll be streaming some friend bow, actually. I have not looked into that game yet. I'm really looking forward to it. And Mother Cryptid, thank you for the follow. Very much appreciated. Welcome. <laughs> well, I'll be seeing you off. And I hope I see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Gatorade time. <laughs>